What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be making a mining rig out of some old PC parts that we've got lying around. If you haven't heard about cryptocurrency yet, where the hell have you been? So cryptocurrency, you can also mine it and that's done through GPUs or CPUs. I'm sure there's many other ways you can do this now, but that is the best way. So we've got an old gigabyte motherboard, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM. It's got an old CPU in it, I'm not sure what CPU, probably an old i3, something like that. This motherboard has plenty of PCIe slots, so it should be ideal for mining on. I've got an old Aerocool Integrator, 80 plus bronze, 500 watt power supply. This is from my very first PC build. I've also got an RX 580, this is the ASRock Phantom Gaming. It is the 8GB model so it should be ideal for mining on. We'll see how we get on with this one. I've also just recently taken out an RTX 3060. This is my most recent graphics card that I've just took out of my rig. I've just upgraded to a 3080 so we'll see how we get on with this one. It is the LHR version which means light hash rate. So probably not the best card for mining on, but we'll see how we get on with it. Apparently these are unlocked now, so it should make it quite a profitable card to mine on. I've also bought some cheap PCIe risers. These are what the GPU is attached to. These are cheap and cheerful Amazon specials. I've heard you can get some really good ones from GPU risers, but for this experiment I thought we'll just go cheap see how we get on if these do fail we can always get the more expensive ones later down the line so let's get out the iFixit kit and start building the case all the links will be in the description so without further ado let's get building So we've come across our first problem, this 3060 needs two 8 pin power supplies and the Phantom Gaming needs one 6 pin power supply but the power supply only has one PCIe outlet. So we could use a splitter to split the cable but unfortunately I think the power draw will be too much for a splitter so just to play it safe I'm going to order a new power supply off Amazon and try again. Okay so the new power supply has arrived we went with the Corsair HX1000 this is a 1000 watt power supply it was an Amazon warehouse deal so we just went with that we'll see how we get on. It is the 80 plus platinum model so it should be very energy efficient it also has quite a number of PCIe outputs on it so it should allow us some expansion in the future if we want to add some more GPUs. It is quite a big bulky power supply unit and as you can see it's got 6 PCIe power outlets which is more than enough for what we need. It also comes with a nice bag full of the, all the different cables that we'll probably need in the future and right now.
and the rig is now complete. Look at that. I must admit, I am very happy with the results. It looks very good. As you can see, there's plenty of room for expansion. I can add some more GPUs to it in the future. As you can see, I've managed to do some bit of cable management. It does look very tidy. That power supply is a monster, but it fits in there just nice. I'll leave the links in the description for the power supplies, the frame, the risers. And you can also check out eBay to try and get yourself a cheap motherboard. So all we need to do now is get the software uploaded. I have got an old HD drive from an old laptop, it's just an 80 gigabyte. We don't need a lot of memory on there, so we'll get here Hive OS for on on that now and see what happens when we fire it up. Okay, so everything is now up and running. I managed to install Hive OS onto the hard drive, no problems, it's very straightforward. Just watch a couple of YouTube videos. I can make a video on it if you guys request it, but it is quite in depth, so it would require another video. I'm very happy with the results. I'm getting about 65 mega hash on Ethereum, so it's not too bad. I haven't played around with it too much. Maybe some of you guys out there are pros and can show me what overclocks I should set for these cards but other than that I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed building it and we'll see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe see you later